Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Claire. Um, today's DIY is a really simple wall light that I made uh, using mainly Dollar Tree material. Uh, you won't need any uh, screws or wiring, so this is perfect for your apartment. And I've linked all the material that I'm using in the description box below. So if you love this, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share this video because it really, really helps my channel. So let's get started. For this first project, I'm using foam board I picked from Walmart and I'll be cutting it into different pieces. I use this mat to get measurements to cut out this foam board uh, into four equal parts. And then I'll simply just glue them together using hot glue. I picked these mirror sheets from Joann's and this is what I'll be gluing on top of these boards. These mirror sheets unfortunately don't have glue in the back so you just have to use hot glue for that or you can use E6000. For the remaining space I'm going to be putting a bling wrap uh, and I'll be linking this in the description box below if you want to get it from Amazon. And for the edges I'm going to be also using uh, the silver wrap using hot glue. I'm also going to be using these two uh, chopping mats. I picked these from the Dollar Tree uh, and then I'll just be cutting them here you can use either the scissors or the crypto knife is also very fine. Then I cover these mats with this uh, mirror reflective paper, picked it from Amazon and I'll link that in the description box below. It comes with glue on the back as well as a protective film uh, for the mirror side. On the other side of this uh, mat I put uh, marble contact paper simply because it was being too transparent for my liking uh, and I could see the light that I was using. Now that both pieces are ready, I'm going to be gluing them. Uh, I'll glue the mat over the board uh, using hot glue and E6000. I held on this part for a while so the glue can dry before I could turn to the other end. This other side was a little bit more complex. The glue was not holding up, uh, so I decided to get a staple gun and stapled all the ends. I'll put this aside and then I work on the mirror. This mirror came with uh, a frame from 99 cent store. Uh, so I'm going to be using that together with uh, these chandelier beads. I picked this from Amazon and I'll link them in the description box below as well. I simply use hot glue to uh, glue the beads onto the mirror and they are all together seven rows. For the ends of these beads, I just glued these round small mirrors that I picked from Amazon. So this last step was basically to glue the mirror onto the boards. Um, I used E6000 together with the hot glue. The biggest part of the mirror will be hanging out, uh, so it was just a small piece that was holding onto the board. To cover the, the staples, I'll just be covering them with a the bling wrap as well. These are the lights that I'm going to use. They are battery operated but remote controlled, uh, and I'll just be gluing them using double-sided tape. To hang these lights on the wall, I used double-sided tape and it was holding just fine. Um, and that's it. You look at this, guys. It's really, really, really gorgeous. My camera is not really doing justice to these pieces. So I like this frame so much and I decided to do a second uh, light. It's going to really be easy. I'm going to be using these frames. They are all from 99 cent store. And then also these round um, boards. These I picked them from Walmart, but you can pick them from a Dollar Tree as well. So right now I'm just gluing them together using hot glue. Um, they are wooden, so they're really easy to work with and light. So I took them outside and spray painted them gold. And since these frames are plastic, this paint can easily go off. So I just covered them with this paint finish um, and let them dry for a while. So I glued the round uh, wooden pieces using hot glue and E6000 in the back of this frame. And then the front is where I will be gluing the mirror right on the lower end. Uh, because this surface is irregular, I'm just going to be using double-sided tape to attach this mirror. 
I'm definitely using the same push lights uh, which I attached right at this point using the double sided tape. And then also I'll be using tape to hang these pieces onto the wall. Last minute thing I decided to cover up that upper space as well in the frame and so I'll just be using this chopping mud. And since the lamp is already attached, I'm just basically going to uh, cut out that space so I'm able to fit in this uh, mat. And basically I didn't need any glue, I just fixed it in and it fit in just right there and it wasn't really moving. So that was it for this lamp, I hung it on the wall and it was just perfect. I have to say these lights are basically $2 each and they are really looking nice on my wall i just really love the simplicity and the elegance they bring so these lights have really been up on my wall for almost a week and they have not fallen off so the double-sided tape works well because they are not heavy um, so I hope you guys love this video. Please give me a thumbs up and share it as well as subscribe to my channel um, I have other videos you can check out in my description box different DIYs that you can use for your home decor uh, And any crafts. So thank you guys and hope to see you next time. Bye